Okay, we're going to take a look at image processing with Python. And images are made up of pixels. Each pixel has an X and a Y coordinate. Uh, the X goes across exactly like it would normally. Uh, but the Y may be a little bit different from what you're used to. Uh, we, actually, we actually use the lower right-hand quadrant. We don't start down here in the lower left. We start up here in the upper left. And, um, and I assume that's because, you know, normally uh, in the United States, we start at the top of a document, work our way uh, across and down. Although uh, if we want to work our way uh, across first, we would increment the Y pixel uh, more slowly. And we, in the inner loop, we would increment the X pixel and move all the way across. Uh, the examples I've got are the other way around. Uh, so we increment the X pixel on the outside loop and then on the inside loop, we do the Y pixel. And so we're going to do a column and then a column and a column and a column and a column. And it doesn't really matter because uh, in the end, it's all going to be the same. So uh, in order to do this, uh, you need to have uh, this uh, downloaded and available to Python. And uh, if it's not included with your uh, Python distribution, uh, you can Google it and uh, find out how to download it. Uh, it's uh, relatively simple to download. Um, so uh, if you want to create an image, uh, this is one way to do it. If you want to, but we're not going to do anything with this. Uh, this just says the dimensions of the image are going to be 640 by 480. That's a wide and tall. And uh, the color of every pixel is going to be zero for the red, zero for the green, and the maximum 255 for the blue. So we're just going to get a blue rectangle, uh, which isn't all that interesting. Uh, what is more interesting is uh, opening up uh, a file that has a picture in it. And this is all you have to do. Just give the file name right here. This happens to be in a folder called pics. So uh, we've got a little path information here. So this assumes that in the in the uh, folder that the program is being run out of, there's a subfolder called PIX, and inside that subfolder, there's a file called flowers2.jpg. So when you want to access every pixel, uh, it's a very simple algorithm. It's that same nested loop algorithm that you've seen a lot of times before. Uh, we, the outside one is going to take X from, now image is the name of our picture here, okay? And it has a property called size that has two elements in it. The first one is the width, and that's size sub zero. And the second one uh, is the uh, height, and that is size sub one. So the outer loop, x will change slowly, and then we'll go through all the y values in the middle, and then we'll go back out and change the x, then we'll go through all the y values in the middle, and so on. And at each one of those coordinates for x and y, uh, we want to get a pixel. And we have to pass in x, y in parentheses. Uh, so the argument here uh, is, uh, it's going to uh, highlight the whole thing for me. The argument is from here uh, to here. Uh, it, it, that's called a tuple in Python. And so we're passing in a single tuple, uh, which, can, which is similar to a list, but it can't be changed, okay? Um, and it's gonna return three things. We haven't seen this, I don't think, before either. Uh, it's gonna return three things, the red component that I'm gonna store in R, the green component that I'm gonna store in G, and the blue component that I'm gonna store in B. So red, green, blue uh, is frequently abbreviated RGB. So anybody who's reading this that knows anything at all about images uh, would understand that those are reasonable variable names, even though they're only one letter long. If I want to change a pixel, uh, it's the name of the image dot put pixel. And it has two arguments. This might look like it's five arguments. But the first argument starts here and ends here. And the second argument starts here and ends here. So this is a tuple with three elements or two elements. Uh, this is one with three elements, uh, but there's only two arguments that are being passed as you can see, because there's one comma here between the first argument and the second argument. So uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to take a look at um, sample program and uh, file name. And to save myself a little bit of typing here, I'm just gonna do or. And I've got one out there called roses.jpg. Okay. And I will open it and I will refer to it from that point on as pick. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show it that will open up an image manipulation program on my computer and it will just display the original picture. And then here is that standard loop that I talked about. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same every time. So we visit every X pixel. And when we're on a given column for X, we visit every Y value in that column. Then we go to the next column and we work all, all the way down and so on. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I've modified this program a little bit. I'm gonna go back to, uh, 
Okay, so if I do this, uh, it's just gonna put the exact same red, green, and blue components out there. I'm gonna get rid of the red and put a zero in there. So uh, zero means no red, 255 would be maximum red. And um, so every single pixel is gonna have the red taken out of it. I'm gonna end up with a uh, picture that's made up of only green and blue components. So let's go ahead and run that. And when I get over here and hit enter, it'll take the roses file. And there is the picture with the red removed. So all you can see here is, you know, it's mostly uh, the other color in the leaves apparently was, was more green than blue. And in the background here, it looks like it was a little more blue than green. I'm not sure what happened to my first picture here. There should have been a first picture displayed and we missed it somehow. Uh, it didn't come up on top. So that's what the original picture looked like. And uh, this is what the picture looks like when you take all of the red out of it, okay? So we'll try a few other ones here. Uh, we will leave the red in and we'll take all the green. So this isn't gonna change it a whole lot because red is the dominant color in that picture, but let's go ahead and run it. And I'll hit the enter key. Okay, now it's showing up. That's the original. And in a few seconds, we'll see what it looks like with the green removed. Okay, so uh, if I take the green out of the background, what's left is the blue and the red. Uh, if I take the green out of the red here, um, there's not much blue in there. Uh, so it's still gonna look very red. It's gonna look even more red though than it did before. And uh, there's no green in the outside here. So I'm gonna get uh, what's left is gonna, uh, it's gonna be red and blue, which combined uh, gives us a shade of purple. And the last one we're gonna do is uh, we'll leave the green the same and we will put a zero in for blue. Uh, this one probably all also will not make a whole lot of difference because red is the dominant color. Okay, so if I take the blue out, uh, what I'm left with here is gonna be the red and the green. And if you mix red and green together uh, in equal amounts, uh, you get yellow and um, so in the lighter parts here, it's pretty much equal amounts. Uh, in the darker parts here, um, there must be a little more blue, in, I'm sorry, a little more green in there than blue. But the original picture is still uh, very recognizable, okay? Uh, now my comment doesn't really apply anymore, so I think I should probably get rid of that. Uh, now let's go and put the blue back in. And I'm gonna try something this, I'm gonna try dividing everything by two. So I've got half as much. So if I don't have as much, uh, the picture is uh, gonna be, it's not gonna be lighter or fainter, it's gonna be darker because I'm putting less color in, I'm putting less light in. So let's go ahead and run that. And we'll hit enter for our file name. And there's our original. The next uh, version that pops up should be a darker version of that. And uh, it is. So it looks like a picture that's underexposed. Let's go ahead and, and let's try dividing by four this time. And that should dark it quite a bit, darken it quite a bit more. So there's our original. And there is a much darker, uh, much more underexposed version of the original picture. So that's what happens if you cut everything in four by, or divide everything by four. Okay, so that's, that's one example. We'll do a few more in some uh, upcoming videos.